Hello, class. Good evening. Do you listen to me? Hello. Good evening. Okay. Good great. evening. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. You are really welcome. Danny. Hello, Jonathan. Ivania, Hello, Carlos, and Luz, obviously. You are really welcomed. Hey, what happened to you yesterday, Dani? ¿Qué pasó ayer, Dani? Nos quedamos extrañándolo. Sí, se me cortó de todo, ya no me pude conectar como por la lluvia. Okay, let's expect that today there is no, there isn't going to be any problem, okay? Y Carlos Miguel? What happened? ¿Qué sucedió? Hola, Carlos. Hola, hola. ¿Qué sucedió ayer? Lo estuvimos extrañando también. De repente, así, los grupos, ay, ¿qué se hicieron los compañeros, verdad, Luz? Y Jonathan también tuvo un poquito de problemas, también Guillermo, pero Guillermo al final regresó, incluso para, para la sesión, ¿verdad? De refuerzo. Ahí tuvo Good problemitas. Evening. Good evening, Guillermo. Esperamos tener hoy mejor conectividad todo, ¿verdad? Y todas, para que tengamos un mejor refuerzo. Entonces vamos a hacer repaso. Ready, ready. Ok. Ready. Here we go. In one minute we're going to get started, but tell me, class, how was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo hoy su día? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, Guillermo, we don't listen to you, your microphone. <laughs> I was okay. It was okay. Okay, excellent. Your day was okay. And you lose. How was your day? It was busy. It was busy. Very busy. Okay. It was busy. It was busy. And Danny, how was your day today? I was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It was, it it was okay. okay. Excellent, very well. And uh, Carlos, how was your day today? Hello. Hello, good evening. How was your day today? Mm. Good evening. Um, my day very, very tired, tired. <laughs> tiring, tiring, remember tiring, okay? Tiring. And here, it was fine, says Ivania. And Ana Marleni is joining right now. Okay, hello, Ana Marlene, welcome. We see you here, okay. Good evening, Marlene. Hello, Marlene, do you listen to me? Yes, okay, yes. welcome. Okay, great, welcome. Hey, listen class, we need to get started right now, okay? Necesitamos iniciar ya, and then I'm going to share my PPT with you guys and here, let me see. Yeah, Ivania says that her day was fine, but she's driving home, okay? Va eh, conduciendo, entonces, that's why. She is not activating the camera because remember that to have your camera on is mandatory from Instapur. Recuerden que tener la cámara activada es eh, un requisito de Instapur para saber que ustedes están pendientes en la clase y que están ahí. Okay, and, but Ivania at this moment, she is uh, driving. Okay, so William is joining right now. William Francisco, welcome. Good evening, William. How are you today? ¿Cómo está hoy, William? I'm uh, tired. <laughs> you are tired? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. It was tiring. A very tiring day. Very busy, okay? But here you're going to get relaxed. And I'm going to share with you guys my PPT, okay? Here we go. Oy. Okay, let's see. Here. Okay. Today is August 31st, 2022, the last day of the month. So today we are saying goodbye, August. And tomorrow, welcome to... September, very soon, Christmas. The year is like this, right? Time flew, el tiempo voló, okay? So today is August 31st. How do you say 31 in English? 31st, 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 31st. 
Uh-huh. We don't say 31. No, we say 31. Pero eso es por fecha o 31. Por la fecha, por la, por fecha, la fecha. Para la fecha, 31st. So you have, tomorrow is September the 1st. Mañana es septiembre primero. September the 1st on Friday, September the 2nd. Okay? You use these numbers for the dates. And here we go. Today is our video conference number eight. Is that correct? So greetings. It is the first uh, part of our agenda, what I did at the beginning. We're going to have a feedback. You're going to read the objectives. We're going to continue working with daily routines at the workplace. You're going to have the practice. You describe your daily routine. We're going to work at page 25 and others because we're going to work with uh, sentences in simple present tense, and that is the structure for this unit. Remember that. So here I have the objective. I need one volunteer to help me reading the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective for today. One volunteer, thank you, David. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to diminish this, okay? Begin reading, thank David. Thank you. The specific yeah. objective. Participants will be able to ask partner questions about the daily routine and give an answer about the routine. Class okay. objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to talk about daily routines. Thank you. Very well done. Remember that in this case, your partners, your classmates, okay, in the group. So you're going to be asking questions about their daily routines at work and also at home. Yesterday, we had a lot of practice on that and give the answers about the routine, okay? Your routines, your daily routines. And here, as every day, the reminder for homeworks and evaluations. Remember on Friday, you need to have completed the mid-term test and also the exercises for each uh, of the days, okay, for the second section. And here we have, we're going to be brainstorming affirmative and negative statements in simple present tense, daily routines, and just no questions. This is what we're going to be working about, okay? So let's see, I'm going to start. And here, Ana Veronica. Hola, present. Do you, do you speak Spanish? Ana Verónica, do you speak Spanish? Do yes. you speak, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, the question goes to, let me see, maybe the question goes to, um, Jose Armando, good evening. I have a question for you. Jose Armando, do you play Hello. do you play soccer on the weekend? Sorry, I I I I can hear you. Do you play soccer? Yes, I I do. Yes, I do. Very well. So those are yes, no questions. If you notice, yeah, you have been practicing and now you are able to answer. Okay. I have a question for David. David, do you play? I'm uh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. David over here because it moved. Uh, okay. David, do you cook? Do you cook at home? I don't. I don't cook. No, no, I don't. No, I, no don't. I don't. No, I don't cook. Okay. No. Danny, where are you, Danny? Daniel? Danny? Hello. Okay, Danny, do you play video games? Danny, do you play video games? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Daniel, do you play video games? No. No, no, I don't. don't. Really? Jonathan, do you play video games? No, I don't. You don't play video games. It's no. weird that you don't play video games. Guillermo, do you play video games? No, I don't. No, you don't. Uh, Madeline, Madeline, I have a question for you, Miss Madeline. 
Hello. Hello. Good evening. Welcome, Miss. Uh, do you sing Good in evening. the shower? Madeline, do you sing in the shower? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very well. Luz, uh, Luz, do you like do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Excellent. Very well. Clelia. Clelia, hello. Hola. Clelia, do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. Excellent. Very well. So now the question goes to, let me see, William Francisco. Hello, William. Are you available? William. Hello. Okay. Hello, William. William, do you Hola. have children? Do you have children? Yes, I do. Excellent. Very well. So you see, yes, no questions. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Now we continue with the feedback. And here, uh, daily routines, okay? Okay, so here. Uh, if you remember yesterday, you were writing a list of activities that you do every day, okay? So I start. I teach classes at 8 p.m. I, say, I said one sentence in simple present tense. So you have, it is about my work, my daily routine at work. I teach classes at 8 p.m. Now you have to tell me, to tell to the class, not only to me, one activity that you do at work. I blah, blah, okay? I began, I teach classes at 8 p.m. Okay, who's going to continue? Okay, tell me one activity that you do at work. Do you remember? Okay, but I'm going to ask you to uh, turn your microphone on. Que activen el micrófono cuando vayan a participar porque no se les escucha a nadie. Van a decirme una actividad que realizan en el trabajo. Using simple present tense, I already began. Yo inicié ya. I teach classes at 8 p.m. Because it is my work. And now you, what do you do at work? ¿Qué hacen en el trabajo? Tell me one activity. From the ones that you wrote yesterday. De las que escribieron ayer, recuerden. Oh my God, don't let me down. Don't make me cry, please. Thank you, Carlos, Miguel. Your microphone. Uh, I check emails. Excellent, very well. And answer I, emails. I check emails and I answer emails. Very well. Somebody else? Hello. Okay, I Luz. I check order. I check orders. Excellent, congrats. Jose, Hello. Uh, I generate report. I generate reports. Very report. well. Excellent, congratulations. Okay. Uh, another participant? You have to Hello. be discreet. Hello, Marlene, tell me. What do you do at work? I take orders. I check orders, very well. Jonathan, what do you do at work? I read documents. I read, I read documents, very well, excellent. Yes. Jose Armando, what do you do at work? I make a, a report. I make reports in plural. But, but if you say I make a report, it is only one. So you say I make reports. Oh. And let me see who else. Danny, what do you do at work? Daniel? Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio, are you here? Are you in this virtual world? Noé, do you listen to me, Noé? Noé, what do you do at work? Supervise the I mechanic. I supervise I the mechanics. Okay, I very well. I supervise the mechanics. Excellent. Clelia, what do you do at work? I drink coffee. I drink coffee at work. <laughs> okay, well. congratulations. Guillermo, what do you do at work? I check logistics. 
Excellent, very well, I check logistics. And now let's continue, okay, here we go. And this is part of the feedback, right? Because yesterday you were working with the daily routines at work. And here we have, what is your daily routine? And you were also describing your daily routine. For example, I wake up at 5 a.m., I get up at 5.05, uh, I take a shower at 5.10, I get dressed at 5.25, I have breakfast at 6 a.m., I go to work at 6.30 a.m., for example, or I brush my teeth after breakfast, obviously, I brush my teeth at 6 uh, 10 or six and a quarter or six uh, 25. I don't know. Okay, so this is what you were practicing yesterday, if you remember. Yes. Okay, Guillermo, do you have a question? Alguna pregunta, Guillermo? Okay, no. no, no questions. Okay, here we go. This is what you were describing yesterday, but here we have. Just no questions, okay? You are going to be asking these questions in the breakout rooms. Do you like ice cream? If I say, uh, for example, Luz, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Okay, or if, because there are people who don't like ice cream, then you say, no, I don't. And then you are going to be asking and answering these questions, but here you have to complete, for example, does according to the people in your in your in your group does um does clelia like to listen to romantic music if i ask to lose lose does clelia like to listen to romantic music you say yes i do yes she does or no yes she does or no she doesn't okay depending because i'm going to tell you something as a reminder, we, I was kind of a little bit crazy. Sure. I need your attention to this explanation, please. Yes, miss. Here we go. Okay. In simple present tense, as I told you, simple present tense, to build questions, we use this modal auxiliary, do. Utilizamos este verbo auxiliar, do. Es la base del verbo. Como verbo auxiliar no tiene significado porque auxilia a la estructura. Pero también tenemos das. Fíjense que el verbo do, you have added y es, le hemos agregado es. ¿Por qué será que le hemos agregado es? Does anybody know? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Por qué será? Pues lo utilizamos para aquí con, con, ¿cómo se llama? Con los pronombres. Uh, uh, he, she, it. Excellent, very well. Para tercera persona de singular. Entonces, vamos a utilizar do, como bien nos mencionaba Ana Verónica, con los pronombres personales I, you, we, they. Yes. Y vamos a utilizar does, we, does, Wes, he, she, it. So if I say, does um, Madeline, does Madeline sing in the shower? Ella ya contestó esta pregunta. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Para esta pregunta. He does. Yes, yes she coma, she does. Excellent. Sí, es la respuesta corta. Does Madeline sing in the shower? Yes, she does. Another question. Does yes. Luz, yes, does Luz like pupusas? The answer is yes or no? Okay, Luz, yes. do, you like, do you like pupusas, Luz? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Como ella contestó, yes, I do, porque do you le pregunté y ella contestó con I, entonces tenía que usar 
do, yes, I do. Entonces, como estamos hablando de otra persona, de otra tercera persona, yo les pregunto, hey, class, does Luz like pupusas? You answer, yes, yes, she does. does. Okay. Dos. And imagine that it is negative the answer. Y si fuera negativa la, la respuesta, ¿cuál sería? No. No, she doesn't. No. Excelente. No, Great. No, she doesn't. Yes. ¿Alguien como que tenía una duda o pregunta? Yo, teacher. Ok, Vero. Este, un, una consulta. Usted dijo que do debemos entenderlo como un verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? En este caso, sí. Así y... es, ¿por qué? Porque uh -huh. por sí solo, de forma aislada, tú también significa hacer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Pero cuando va en las estructuras, el presente simple, ¿ok? Um, no tiene significado, solo ayuda. Pero cuando va el solito como verbo o verbo principal en la oración, significa hacer, ¿sí? Este, otra cosa, teacher, este, para, ¿cómo se llama? Para oraciones simples, este, en inglés, cuando utilizamos el do o, o das, este, primero iría el verbo auxiliar y luego el verbo principal. Veamos acá, en respuestas o preguntas, o en respuestas cortas o largas. En respuestas largas. Ok. Then here we have, yes, she does, is the short answer. Mm -hmm. The full answer, yes, she likes acá, ya no usamos el verbo auxiliar, en la afirmación, en oraciones afirmativas. Yes, she likes pupusas. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero en uh, forma completa, en negativo, no, aquí sí, no. Mm, no, she doesn't like pupusas. Pero quiero que se fijen en algo, guys. Pay attention to this. En the negative. Fíjense que en la respuesta completa, afirmativa, al verbo le agregamos S porque el pronombre personal es she. Yes or no? Yes. En el negativo, no le agregamos la S, a pesar que es tercera persona de singular. ¿Por qué? Porque llevamos acá el verbo auxiliar, ¿sí? Entonces, en las oraciones tercera persona de singular negativas, en presente simple, utilizamos doesn't. He doesn't, she doesn't. Y el verbo lo escribimos en su base. No le agregamos S. Sin embargo, en el afirmativo, como no utilizamos el verbo auxiliar en la respuesta afirmativa larga, al verbo le vamos a hacer el cambio dependiendo cómo termina. En este caso, cómo termina en E, le agregamos únicamente la S. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Yes? ¿Any other question or comment? No. Thank you. Ok. ¿Es it clear so far? Ahora vamos a practicar esto mucho más, ¿verdad? Pero sí es que tomar... como recordato. ¿Mm? Es tómenle, el que ¿Quieren Ajá. tomarle screenshot? Vaya, tómenle screenshot y la comparten. Gracias. Ok, tómenle screenshot y la comparten, chicos, vía WhatsApp, please. ¿Quién está teniendo problemas con la conexión? Okay, yes, great, excellent. We share the picture. Maveline, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now I'm going to, okay, listen, you're going to complete similar to this one in the, okay, in the slide, the questions that we have here. Okay, according to the people in your groups. So, do you watch uh, sub operas? Yes. 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 Yes
if I say, um, let me see. The question goes to, I'm going to choose it from here, from the list. The question, my finger is going to tell me who's going to answer this question. Mm, the question goes to Francisco Enrique Saldaña. Francisco Enrique. Hello, Francisco. Francisco, are you here? Let me see. Francisco is not here. Francisco Saldaña, no. So the question goes to uh, Carlos Miguel. Do you watch sub operas? Do you watch sub operas? You know the meaning of sub operas. Telenovelas, sub operas. Uh -huh. eh, no, 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 I don't. Excellent, very well. Now, if I say, for example, uh, Madeline, does Francisco, yeah, does Carlos watch sub operas? Carlos Francisco, watch sub operas? Carlos Miguel, no. sorry. No, no, he, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Excellent. No, he doesn't. Very well. And then does blah, blah, blah. Okay. Listen to romantic music. Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. You are going to guess. Van a tratar de adivinar si a los compañeros en el equipo. Okay. Pero acá los espacios está para los nombres de sus compañeros. If I say, hey class, do you do um, Luz and Veronica play video games? What would you answer? Yes, no, they I do or not? No, they, no, they or, don't. No, they time. don't. Or, no, they don't. Porque son dos plural. Están hablando de they. Sí. Yes, they do. No, they don't. And here, do blah, blah, and blah, blah. Check the social networks at night. For example, uh, if I say, do um, Daniel and Jonathan check the social networks at night? The possible answer is affirmative or negative. Okay, let's listen to the affirmative answer. Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Okay, very well. So that is the kind of, you're going to be completing here with the name of the people in your groups, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm going to share this. Okay, here, here, so here we go. Uh, la pone no, por favor, si quieres sacar un reporte. Permítame que les estoy compartiendo, ya la compartí vía WhatsApp. Ah, hello, Serafín, welcome. Hi. Okay, here we go, okay, hold it. I'm going to diminish this. Okay. Did Gracias. you take the screenshot? Great, excellent. And now we're going to move to the breakout rooms in order to, okay, in order to practice. Remember to complete the questions with the names of the people in your groups, okay? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Right now, I'm going to share, okay? Open your eyes. The invitation, your invitation is being sent. Les ha sido enviada la invitación. So please go to your groups and ask and answer the questions. Uh, Jose Mejia, I need you in group number three, please, if you are so nice. Jose Mejia, group number three. Equipo tres, Jose. Thank you. Okay, no way. Noah, we are working in groups. I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? You're going to work 
in group number two. Acá le envío la invitación al equipo dos. Okay. Ya le llegó la invitación, equipo 2, Team 2. Yes, Noé. Ok. Dan. Yes, I do. No. Ok, class, listen, Noé is part of this group. He recently joined. So, Noé, Dani, Ana Verónica, and David, David uh, Emanuel are here, okay? Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. ¿Usted lo puede poner ahí? Sí, claro. Bye, gracias. Ya se los presento, permítame. ¿Ah? Ya se los presento, permítame. Va, está bien. Ok, me avisan si pueden ver. Sí, ahí también. Ok, este... Si gusta, do you like... Ice cream, therapy. Uh, do you like to play soccer? No, I don't. Uh, do you da do you dance ballet? No, I don't. Do you cuatro son preguntas directas hacia alguien y de ahí vamos a poner el nombre de alguien más. Ajá, sí, Ajá. correcto. Ahí está la teacher diciendo que sí. Ok. Correcto, vaya. No sé si nos vamos a hacer en, en pareja o, o nos vamos a ir pensando. Jonathan, you and me. Ok. Bárbara y Guillermo, sería. Ok, entonces. Okay. Ask me, Jonathan. Ok. Uh, Barbara, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Soy Ana. <laughs> Ay, perdón. <laughs> Siempre me pasa. <laughs> perdón. Siempre me pasa. <laughs> no hay okay. problema. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Uh, do you like to play soccer? No, I don't. Okay. Do you dance ballet? No, I don't. Do you watch soap operas? No, I don't. Okay. Does Barbara like to listen to romantic music? Yes, they do. Okay. Este... No, 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 no. Do... Yes, no, no. she does. Yes, she yes, does. Porque está hablando de ella. <laughs> Okay, oh. continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, does, does, does Guillermo like to go to the beach? Yes, he does. Uh, does. Does Barbara cook for the family? Yes, she does. Okay. Do Barbara and Guillermo play video games? No, they don't. Okay. Do Guillermo and... Ah, entonces, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces pregunten a mí también. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, entonces... Este... Mabelin, does cook for the family? Uh, yes, I do. No, you have to say, no. Madeline, do you do you cook for the family? Or in this case, you have to say, Madeline, does Luz cook for the family? 
this, and then she's going to answer, yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Recuerden que das lo utilizamos para tercera persona de singular. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Ok. So, if I, if... Consultar, o sea, me tienes que preguntar a mí si yo creo que Filomena, por ejemplo. Yes, ok. Ok. Das, eh, Maverick, das y Filomena cook for the family? Eh, yes, sí, das. Yes, sí, das. Okay. Okay. Um, Serafín, um, does uh, Filomena like to go to the beach? Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, Filomena, she yes. does. Okay, okay, yes. Filomena. Consulta <laughs> nuestra. The question. Um, in Filomena, do you watch soap operas? Yes, he, yes, he does. Eh? Yes, he, yes, she does. He does. Perdón, Daniel, dijiste, pero. Sí. Yes, he does. Sí, Daniel, he, yes, he does. Bye. Ahora vamos con William. El 8. Does William cook for the family? Yes. Uh, yes, he, he does. Thank you. Ok. Hoy, eh, eh, ¿Sí? hoy, no, fuera bueno que también Daniel, Noé, William hicieran alguna pregunta a los demás. Bien. Se lo, han, se lo han contestado ahorita. ¿Hagan alguna pregunta? A quien sea, como sea. Bueno. Voy yo, entonces. Dale, William. Do, do Daniel and Noé play video games? Yes. The question goes to y quién va a contestar la, la pregunta. ¿Para quién es, William? Yeah, uh, en general, ahí. Uh, no, pero usted tiene que decir el nombre de la persona que le va a contestar. Por ejemplo, uh, if I say Verónica, do, uh, Verónica. do bla bla. Uh -huh. Repeat the question and she's going to answer. Verónica, uh -huh. do Daniel and Noé play video games? Yes, they, they, they do. Mm -hmm. Perfect, excellent. No, yo, Daniel, a question? Yes. Okay, Danny, ask a question to one of your classmates. Yes. Dani, hágale una pregunta a uno de sus compañeros. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, Verónica, do you like to play soccer? Yes, I do. Ok. Eh, ok. Voy yo con una pregunta. Y... Ok, no es. Para... Para, para William, William Francisco. Okay. Do you like to play soccer? Yes, I do. Yes. Perfect. So you finished. All of you practiced? Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's get back to the main session room because you're going to have more practice, okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's see, let's get back.
Thank you. I'm going to take your first attendance. So I need your cameras on. Everybody with the cameras active. Todos y todas con las cámaras activas para la toma de asistencia. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> Let's see who else is coming. Lucy is still in there. Okay, everybody's here. Here we go. I'm going to take your first attendance. Marlene, Ana Marlene. Hello, yeah, Ana Marlene. Yeah. Barbara, thank you for your camera active. Voy uh, en camino, por eso se yeah. visto oscuro. <laughs> okay, no problem, but we can see you perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Ana Veronica. Present. Great. Barbara. Present. Carlos Miguel. Present. Clelia. Present. Dani Alberto. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Filomena Luz Amaya. Present. Francisco Enrique Saldaña Guevara. Francisco. Present. Okay, you're here. Guillermo Antonio Hernández Coto. Present. Thank you. Ivania Elizabeth Olmedo. Ah, she's driving. Okay. Present. Thank you, Miss. Yeah, you are in the transport station, Miss. Jonathan. Here I am. Okay, great. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Great. Jose Manuel Mejia. Jose Manuel. Present. Okay, thank you. Karina Vanessa. She's absent, right? Yeah. Mabelin, Milagro Mabelin. Present. Great. Noé Isaí. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín Constanza. No, I don't listen to you. Nobody listens to you, Serafín. Why? I, we don't know. Present. Okay, great. Excellent. William Francisco. <laughs> William Francisco. Present. Thank you. I have two Francisco. William Francisco and Francisco Enrique. That's why I get a little bit confused sometimes. Okay. So, class, thank you for your practice. And we're going to continue practicing more, but with the manual right now. And here we go. Okay, here. <clears throat> Did you do this activity? Do you remember daily, uh, Katie's daily routine? Okay, what does she do on Monday? Okay, what does she do on Monday? Yes, Carlos Miguel? Uh, she makes many phone calls. Later, okay. she writes reports about the production. She makes uh, phone calls. Okay, what else does she do? Uh, later, she writes reports about the production. She writes she writes reports about the production. Yes. Okay, great. But I'm going to put it over here because it is too much. Or maybe like this. Okay, and then we move it right here. Okay, great. And what about Wednesday? What does Katie do on Wednesday at work? Yes, Carlos? She? Carlos Miguel? No se sabe. <laughs> ah, he, he, he doesn't say <laughs> no here on Monday. Uh, she writes reports. And what does she do the other? Uh, here you have on Wednesday. 
She Wednesday. sends Wednesday. Ah, yeah. Thursday. Uh, the Thursday no, is nothing. No, no. Wednesday. She? She sends some email. She sends some emails. Only that. Emails. Uh, to the bookkeeper. Uh, to the bookkeeper. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And what else? Schema has. Mm -hmm. And only that on Wednesday, right? Only that Wednesday, yeah. On Wednesday, only that. Okay, so over here. That's it. And what about Friday? Oh, okay. Friday, she arranged meetings. She arranges meetings. Arranges. Arranges. Arranges, 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 arranges meetings. 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 Okay, very well. And remember, class, that I told you okay, that here the instruction was also what other activities you think Katie does in the other days of the week. Probably on Tuesday, what does she do at work? Use your imagination. She? What do you think? May, she she may. may she informs. Uh, she writes in forms or reports. She uh -huh. writes reports. Report. Okay, very well, excellent. And what about Thursday? What do you think she does at work on Thursday? Mm -hmm. Also at work. She we get or she what and meetings. She attends meetings. Meeting, okay. Okay, she attends meetings very well. Ella asiste a reuniones. She attends meetings. Uh, what about Saturday? What do you think she does on Saturday? She sleeps too late. Uh, okay, <laughs> she sleeps. She sleeps. No, sleeps. Okay. She, sleeps. she sleeps too late. Uh, she sleeps or oh, she wakes up very late. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. She wakes up very late. And what do you think she probably does on Sunday? She watches movie on Netflix. <laughs> uh, probably. Okay, probably she watches movies okay that's it she watches movies and uh, over here and over here yeah and that's it so you have katie's daily routine this is what we did yesterday right and i told you to work on this okay so if you don't have it you may take a screenshot Okay, shall we continue? Yes, podemos continuar? Please, yes, yes, yes. yes Okay, teacher. that's why I told you, you may take a screenshot. And now here, look at this. Affirmative statements and negative statements. She makes many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers to be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. In negative, she doesn't make any phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. It doesn't help workers to be on time. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Esto es lo que les explicaba al inicio, se recuerdan. En oraciones afirmativas, Okay. En presente simple no utilizamos, en oraciones completas no utilizamos ningún verbo auxiliar, por lo tanto el verbo sufre modificación. Makes, carries, because the verb here should be make, yes, and then we change it into makes. Here the verb should be carry. Originally it is carry, but 
we say carries because it is third person singular. Pero acá se ha cambiado a carries porque es tercera persona de singular. Yes or no? And here it is sent, but we say sent because Cindy is third person singular. She helps. The verb is help, but in present tense for third person singular, helps. It helps. My boss, mi jefe o mi jefa, talks. Porque es tercera persona singular, pero para negativo, como ya dijimos antes, utilizamos doesn't. She doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry. Y el verbo, así como se los expliqué anteriormente, va en su base. Miren, make, carry, send, help, talk. ¿Por qué? Porque llevamos el verbo auxiliar does en negativo. Doesn't. Yes? Questions? Now we're going to put into practice the, the theory. Let's complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. Let's do the first one. He ordered everything in the office. How should be the verb? ¿Cómo debe ir el verbo? Debería ir el verbo. He orders. Very well. He orders. He orders everything in the office. Yeah. It is third person singular, but what about Amy and Theresa? Plural, two people. The verb is ask. How should it be? Amy and Theresa. Ask or asks? Asks. Ask with S. No. Ask. No, Asking porque estamos hablando. With no, porque eso sería pasado. Ask en la misma forma, porque es plural. Amy and Teresa, dos personas. Okay. ok. Es un sujeto compuesto de dos. Entonces es plural. Es como que diga, they ask for the signatures every Friday. Ellos piden la firma cada viernes. Yes. Signatures, firmas. Signatures. Amy and Theresa ask for the signatures every Friday. Now here, Helen, negative, not called the design department on weekends. Okay, Helen, negative. Helen doesn't? Excellent, doesn't call, very well. Helen doesn't call. Oh. Because it is her person singular. Porque Helen es como que digamos she. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Okay, now you continue with number four. Again, a number one over here and number one over here. But four, five, and six, okay? So I'm going to give you one minute so you uh, complete the sentences with the appropriate verb form and then we double check, okay? Try to do it. Ready? Let's see. Number four, she, our desks in the mornings. Cleans. 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 Great, congratulations. She cleans our desks in the morning. Limpia nuestros escritorios in the morning. Now this one, I, at least with right. the things when I right. write, write, write. Congratulations. 
I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Remember that here we are talking only about routines at work, order everything in the office, uh, doesn't call the design department of weekend, write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Uh, they ask for the signatures every Friday, probablemente pagan weekly, pagan cada, cada semana, because uh, they ask for the signature, piden la firma. She cleans our desks in the mornings. It is another activity that janitors do. Mario, not keep a record of the merchandise he, okay? Mario, Mario doesn't, doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Great, doesn't keep uh, a record of the merchandise he buys. He buys. Great, congratulations, are you see? Okay, you relax and you did it very well. So we have, he orders everything in the office. Amy and Teresa ask, because it is plural, two people. No se dejen llevar solo porque el, el, acá Teresa, no, son dos nombres, por lo tanto, sujeto compuesto, plural. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends because probably they don't work on weekends. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Uh, she cleans our desks in the mornings. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. Questions or comments? No? Okay, let's move. Well, to the next activity. Now, class, you are going to create a conversation with a partner about someone else's daily activities at work. Also, don't forget to mention the activities that you do. Ayer hicieron su lista de actividades en el, en el trabajo at work, your daily routine at work. So here, for example, we have A and B, but you create a conversation with a partner about someone else's daily routine. Van a crear una conversación acerca de la rutina de alguien más. Parecida a la conversación que practicamos ayer, ¿sí? Yesterday, they had a conversation similar to, uh, okay, they were asking about uh, Katie's routine, right? So here, let's try to do it. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm, I'm David. For example, this is just an example, okay? Hello, I'm David. Following the order that we had in the previous conversation, okay? And then, hello, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm David. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Okay. I, y acá escriben lo que hacen, okay? Uh, what about you and your partner? Y tú y tu compañero o compañera, we, okay? Okay, we are, for example, um, auditors. We are auditors. And she or he, okay, nosotros somos auditores. And he or she is a secretary. To tell you an example a secretary, right? And here, okay, I'm going to move it over here like this. And then you continue with the conversation. Okay, what about you and your partner? Okay, pero acaban a contestar. I have a question, what do you do on weekdays? I check emails, I call clients, I write reports, y las actividades de acuerdo a su naturaleza de trabajo, de acuerdo? And then here, uh, what about you and your partner? Y tú y tu compañero, we are auditors and she is a secretary. Y ella es una secretaria, okay? And then here, so here, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do um, on weekdays? The same question. Then, uh, okay, here, 
Mm -hmm. A is going to answer. According to the nature, yes, of your position, de acuerdo a la uh, naturaleza de su posición, uh, if we said that we are auditors, so we audit, audit companies, companies, and check what else do they do and check the accounts or check the finances. Yeah, I think that auditors, they do that. And then in order to close the conversation, that is interesting. See you later. See you later and then, bye, see you. Okay, this is just an example, but you can use your creativity to continue here. And it is about your activities, okay? The activities that you do at work. Is it okay? Or questions? You may take a screenshot if you want to, okay? So you share it in the, in the breakout rooms. Because now we're going to move to the breakout room so you can practice the conversation about you and your partners. Teacher. Yes, miss. Será que en el back room no puede dejar, me puede dejar junto con Mabel y es que estamos en el mismo espacio. Y... ¿Cómo en el mismo espacio? Eh, lo que pasa es que estamos trabajando, pero eh, siento interferencia cuando tenemos conversaciones en diferentes grupos. Ah, Ahora, you, ok, both, both of you work in the same company. Sí. Ah, ok. The thing is that I don't assign, ok, the platform as creates the groups. But I'm going sí. to create yes. them, ok. Ah, because you listen to what she is talking, ok. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready? To begin working in the breakout rooms? Yes? Yes. yes? Okay, here we go. I'm going to stop here and let me see the groups over here. Hmm. De hecho, tenía que mover a alguien porque en el grupo 1 habían solamente tres personas. Cuatro, tres, cuatro, cinco. Tres. Y acá tengo que mover a alguien más. Para que queden todos los equipos con la misma cantidad de, de compañeros. Ok, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ok, excellent. Now. Get ready and open your eyes big. The invitation was sent. Ay, es que hay dos personas que como que salieron y reingresaron, ¿verdad? Ok, join your groups, please. Por eso era que los equipos estaban. Ok, join your groups. Ok, Jonathan. Guillermo, join no your sale. group. A Jonathan, no si usted, si es, que usted, es que usted salió del grupo, salió de la clase, igual que Ivania, por eso los tengo que reasignar. Sí, se me. Se uh -huh. me sí, Guillermo, una. Ajá, yes. Guillermo, una sea su equipo, por favor. Uh, let's see, Jonathan. Incluso yo estaba con Guillermo. A, ajá, al equipo cuatro. Okay. Sí, con Guillermo. Y Bárbara. Está ahí esperando por usted, Jonathan. Jonathan ya lo envía a ese equipo. Ahora veamos a Ivania. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Sí, one, two. Sí, sí, lo ando, sí, lo ando buscando. En el dos, creo. Veamos. Y Serafín está en el equipo uno. Lo voy a enviar con... Uh -huh. Al equipo dos, ¿ok? Ok. 
si le llegó la invitación. Sí, van. Ok. El... Poner la información personal de William, la de Daniel, la mía, la de Noé. Está temblando, ¿verdad? No. Well, I don't think. I don't feel it. I didn't feel it. Where do you Ahorita live? Que... And you, David. Santa Tecla. Oh, really? And David? I, I live in San Martín. Oh, really? And you felt it. Y lo sintió también. Yo sentí cuando usted entró, tembló el teléfono. Ah. <risa> 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 earthquake. Earthquake is my other name, my second name. Ok. Begin, please, with the practice, ok? Ok. okay. Okay, uh, for example, I. Yo voy a empezar. I'm, ah, okay. okay. First, first, Miss. Oh, o sea, usted la y yo voy a hacer el B. Uh, okay, okay. Hello, okay. how are you? Hello, I am Ivan Olmedo. I... Sí. Ya le, ya le estuve miedo. No, no, no. 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 no okay. okay. Bye. Este, entonces, <laughs> he is the only boy out. here. He is the only boy here. Bye. We are. Y luego de eso, donde dice we are auditors, y luego en she, en she, hay que poner qué es lo que es Ruth, ¿verdad? En la profesión. Ajá. Tu compañera, supongo ahora. Uh -huh. Vaya, primero en la, vaya, cuando usted me dice, I have a question, what do you do on weekend days? Ahí sería uh, graphic designer. Después, I what about your uh, department? Ahí sería, we make, we make art for uniform. Mm. And check the art. No, eh, no, bueno, no yo... perdón, lo que sucede que como eh, Carlos, usted es letter A, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, Ajá. Y Clelia es letter B, entonces Ajá. cuando pregunta, no, I had a question, ¿quién empezó la conversación? Carlos. Ajá, yeah. hello, how are you? Ajá. Hello, Ajá. I am Francisco, I had sí. a question, what do you do on the weekdays? Uh -huh. uh, entonces le está preguntando a usted qué hace entre semana, eh, prepara reportes y en lo que usted, en la respuesta, usted le hace una pregunta, Carlos. What about you? What about you and your partners? Entonces ahí Carlos le, le responde a usted que ellos. Eh, no, sería son... Clelia, porque Clelia no, es la que responde. No, porque. No, pero B, usted... es Little B. Correcto, Entonces, pero ella, Clelia, ajá, ella... Clelia le, perdón, Clelia le responde, what do you do on the weekdays? Y ella aquí le hace una pregunta, de, what about you and your parents? A usted, a la letra B. Ahí usted, la letra B, si se fija, contesta. La letra A contesta. We no. are, somos eh, ingenieros en sistemas y hacemos XX. Vaya, mejor hagámoslo con esto. Okay. Ajá. Vaya, comenzamos otra vez. Oh, no, dice partner. Yes. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Es que esa, esa no la entendí muy bien. Which one? What about you and your partner? Hey, ¿Quién está hablando? ¿Qué me, dice, ¿qué me dices de ti y de tu compañero o compañera? about us. Uh -huh. no. entre nosotros. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I, y ahí le dice, I am a secretary. Uh -huh. I am an engineer. I am a salesperson. What about you and your partner? Y tú y tu compañero o compañera? We are, y ahí dice, we are assistants, oh. we are graphic designers, we are lawyers, we are architects. Cuando dice partner, uh -huh. está hablando de los compañeros de trabajo. Correcto. 
o puede ser compañero de, 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 de cualquier cosa, tu compañero o compañera, sí. Entonces dice acá, we are, nosotros somos, bla, bla. And she is, nosotros somos tal cosa y él o ella es, ok. Quiere decir que hay otra persona más, no solo ustedes. Ok, and she is a, a the manager or he is the manager. He is the human resources specialist, yes. Or he is the bookkeeper. Okay. What, and then be asks, what do you do on weekdays? Y acá le hace la pregunta, la misma que le hizo. Y de acuerdo a lo que contestaron acá, van a contestar. Sí, de acuerdo a las ocupaciones que contestaron acá. Nosotros hacemos bla, bla, bla. Y ya okay. cierran la conversación después. Ok. Ok. Ok, great. Okay. Continue. Practicing. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo se ve su respuesta? Ok, tal vez ahí primero hacen la conversación entre dos. Sí, tal teacher. Vez entre, entre Marlene y José. Y luego Barbara y Guillermo. Sí, es que en esto teníamos duda. Ah, pero ya está claro o, o sigue la duda. Cuando dice... On weekdays se refiere a long... En día de semana. ¿Qué haces el día de semana? Obviamente que le está preguntando sobre la rutina del trabajo. trabajo. Daily activities Ajá. at Ajá. work. At work, yes. Pero ahí usted no va a decir my daily activities are. No, ahí usted menciona las actividades que hace en el trabajo. ¿De acuerdo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. Entonces, creo que sí, que yo estoy escribiendo lo que. <risa> yo me escribí también ahí. Ok, Pero... let's begin practicing. Comiencen pues... a practicar, chicos. Okay, si gusta, puedo iniciar y con alguien más, no sé, o, o, o termina Marlene y con Bárbara. No, eh, comienza usted. Eh, comienza. ¿Con quién? José. Guillermo. Ok, intentamos. Ok, try, try. I'm going to be here to help you. Intentemos. Voy a hacer el A. Ah. Ok. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, I am Jose. Hi, a question. How are you working days? days? I general report e may advertising. Uh, what about you, you and your partner? What do you with days? What do you do in weekdays or on weekdays? On weekdays. On weekdays. Uh -huh. On weekdays. Ya me toca a mí entonces ahorita. We. Um. Design advertising y um, chat email. That is interesting. See you later. See you later. Y yo creo que ahí nos confundimos en la. Cuando es yo. Que... Sí, es que fue que nos saltamos una, porque cuando yo preguntaba lo de eh, What about you and your partner? Ahí era la pregunta uh -huh. de we are auditor o or we are sales people uh -huh. and, and he is the manager, for example. Yes, uh -huh. we are sales people and he is uh, uh, the manager. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And okay. now who is B? Who is B? Jose, you are B. Okay. Yo, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Quién comienza? Eh? Jonathan. Jonathan no está acá. ¿O sí está aquí? Sí. Está. Aquí está. Ah, vaya, Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan. Jonathan, you are A and Jose is letter B. Ok. <coughs> Hello, how are you? Hello, I am Jose. 
I have a question. What do you do on Windex? I general report and may advertising. Uh, what about you and your partner? Uh, we are system analysts and she is IT manager. Uh, what do you do in weekdays? Uh, we we reading and development software for a specification uh, of of customers. Uh, that is interesting. Interesting. Uh, see you later. Bye. See you. Okay, so that's it. Now Marlene and Barbara. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, I am Barbara. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I I uh, assist in greenhouse and your vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetable. Okay. What do you do on weekdays? We uh, we agriculture agriculture engineer. Y todos every. ¿Cómo se dice todos? Everybody. Oh, everybody. Everybody. O sea, todos somos. Colleagues. Uh, we are colleagues. Yeah, colleagues. 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 Uh -huh. that, that is interesting. See you later. Bye. See you. Okay. Very well. Okay. So that's it. And now maybe Marlene and Jonathan. Okay, okay. Uh, and Siempre letra. You are letter A and I'm letter B. Okay. Um, letter letter B. No. Usted me pregunta a mí, yo la respondo. Jonathan, you begin. Uh, uh -huh, you begin. Yeah. Jonathan, okay. you are letter A. Okay. Um, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Anna. I have a question. What do you do? Escribiéndola a usted, pero como usted se está describiendo, usted tiene que decir, I executive business. I am executive business. I am executive business. Executive business. Okay. Ahora luz A. A sería we and she. He. We and he. Porque se está refiriendo a mí, ¿verdad? Sí. We and he. Ay, okay. Sí, ¿verdad? Hola, yes, sir. Gracias. Yes, sir. We and he. We are. Nosotros somos bla bla. And he is. Y él es. Porque nosotros somos una cosa. Y él es bla bla. Y es otra cosa. We are lawyers and he is a manager. For example. We are graphic designers and she is uh, a secretary. Yes? Mm -hmm. We are. We are. Y una profesión u ocupación. We are is a executive business. We are executive businessmen. Um, and auditors and managers. No, 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 no. 
no me puede decir tantas, tantas ocupaciones. We are executive eh, businessmen. And he is a manager. Yes. And he is a manager. Hasta ahí. Y ahora okay. le pregunta a alguien más. What do you do on weekdays? Y usted menciona las actividades que como business people hacen. Mm -hmm. Ok, what do, you, what, do you, what do you do on weekdays? Weekdays. ¿A, ¿A quién le está preguntando, perdón? Todos, todas, perdón, todos. No, pero solo es a una persona porque no le van a contestar todas a la vez. Ajá, haga la pregunta y diga el nombre para que Ok. What do you do with days, um, Filomena? Eh, sería. Ay, Jimmy. ¿Mm? I check orders. Okay, Serafin, now you say, that's interesting, see you later. That's interesting, see you later. Okay, project is, project is not with Y, it's with J. Project no va con Y. Okay. Se escribe con J, J, project. Okay, mm -hmm. ya practicaron todos y todas. Sí. Chicos, practicaron yes. todos y todas? Yes. Madeline and Veronica, did you practice? Yes. The okay. conversation. No, 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 pero ya lo hicieron. Y Filomena también. Sí, a todos. Ok, uh, here we go. Um, voy a practicar con Serafín Cho. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, I am Serafim. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Mm. It's, um, I am a businessman. I am I am a sexual business. Uh-huh. Okay. And what, uh, ahora usted me pregunta, what about you and your partner? I what about you and your partners? Uh, we are teachers and she is the coordinator. We, ¿verdad? Yes, we? We are teachers and she is uh, the coordinator. Mm -hmm. What do you do in... Uh-huh. What do you do in weekdays? Uh, we teach classes and she supervises the students. That is interesting, interesting see you later. That is interesting. Repeat after me. Uh, that is interesting. That is interesting. No, that is interesting. Interesting. Así? Listen to me. Escúcheme. That Repeat that. that. That is is interesting. 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 Excellent. That is interesting. interesting. That is that interesting. interesting. That is interesting. 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 Okay, Interesting. very good. So you practice. And now we're going to move to the main session room. Okay, again, to have another practice. Yes. Okay, okay. thank you. See you later. See you later.
Okay, class. Now, but we're going to be waiting for Ana Veronica, Serafín, Ana Maritza, Clelia, Dani, Francisco, and Jose Armando. Only group number three is still in the practice. Okay, but they are coming back. We're going to work at page 24. And here we go in the manual. Okay. I need you to open your manual at page 24 and here to reinforce because we have been practicing with does and now with do. Yes, no questions. Do I get up early? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do you call other companies? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do they transport the product? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do we check the policies? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Policies, políticas, institucionales, yes? That is policies. Now here you are going to create the yes, no questions using the words in parentheses and write the potential answers. Here, let's go over the first one, okay? Considering the information that you have in these two uh, tables. You work a company. What is the model auxiliary? Do or does? Do. Do. The subject, the subject pronoun? You. Do you. you. Very you. well. The verb or action? Do you. Do you work. Work. work? Very well. Do you work company? We need to add something, yeah? Do you work in the company, for example? In the company? E at the company is correct. It could be. It's correct. Excellent. Very well. And if I say, okay, we're going to be asking this. Um, the question goes to Guillermo. Guillermo, where are you? Guillermo, are you here? Hello. Okay, Guillermo, do you work in the company? Mm, yes, I do. Okay, so the answer is yes, I do. Why? Because you have that the answer must be affirmative, mm -hmm. positive. Okay, and then here mm -hmm. in number two, who wants to tell me the question for number two? The modal auxiliary should be do or does? Do, do. 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 do they check product? Do they check product? product? Question mark. The answer should be negative. So the answer should be no. No, they, no, don't. they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, they don't. Very well. So you see, you can do it. Ya ven que si lo pueden hacer. Don't be afraid. No tengan miedo. Okay, now in number three, we listen customers. Do, do, we, do, we, do we? Do we? Listen, listen, customers, and the answer? Yes, yes, yes we, do. we do. Yes, we do. So you see, now you try to build number four and number five and answer. Consider this information, okay? Considering, considering this information. And later we're going to double check.
Okay, question number four should be do. Hello, what should be question number four, class? Do I buy new material? Do I buy new material? Excellent. And the answer should be negative. So it is no, no, I, don't. no I don't. Obviously, according to this, right? <laughs> And here, the last one, Milena and Pablo, compound Milena. subject. Milena is it do or does? No, but is it do or does? No. No, porque está hablando do. plural, do they? The, do, do they? Do okay. Milena and Pablo, do Hi. Milena and Pablo. Be careful in the, in the, in the exercises in the platform, okay? And also in the midterm. Porque pueden confundirse con eso. Solo porque miran ahí los nombres de personas. Eh, que es tercera persona es singular. Pero si van dos, tres o cuatro es plural. Okay? So we use okay. do. Do Milena and Pablo. The verb design is logo. design. Design logo. Design logo. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And that's it. Yes, they do. Over here. Yes, they do. Two. Two. And that's it. Very well. Now it is the time for you to produce production time. You are going to write five questions. And you are going to ask uh, your partners in the breakout rooms, okay? For example, if I say, I'm going to write my five questions, okay? Do you make a list of new material? For example, okay? Now my number two, probably, do you, do you plan the agenda. Another one, number three. Start building your questions, okay? Uh, number three could be, for example, do you um, check uh, emails? And number four, do you receive money from the customers. Recibe dinero de los clientes? Yes, I do, no, I don't. And maybe number five, do you? Mm, let me see, do you install software, software? Do you install software? If I say Ivania, do you install software? No, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, very well. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yeah, okay. these are my questions, but you have to build your five questions, okay? And when you are ready, you tell me so we can be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to to ask the questions to your partners, okay? Ready? Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. He vuelto, pero con datos, así que no, no pondré la cámara porque... Ah, okay, si great. No, no me va a desconectar de nuevo. Okay, yes. okay, here we go. Okay. You're back. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, in the five sentences... Ajá, uh -huh, Milena and Pablo. The, no, eh, de lo que acaba de escribir usted, do you install ah, software? Ah, software, ah, yes, eh, ajá. okay, ajá, ajá, yeah, thank you. That's okay. it, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, can we move to the breakout rooms? Are you ready with your five questions for your partners? Yes? Okay, yes. yes. Okay, here we go, let me see. Mm, Carlos Miguel, okay, me falla, okay. 
pero antes de que nos vayamos a la actividad, I'm going to check your attendance, okay? Your second attendance. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Sí, porque luego venimos con otra actividad y ya time flies. Ana Marlene. Here I am. Great. Uh, Ana Verónica. Present. Barbara Susena. Present. Thank you, Barbie. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Está haciendo frío, ya. Yeah? Because super, you, super. You, you, you live in Chalatenango, right? Yes. Okay. Estamos a 10, 10 grados. Yeah. Oh my God. We would like to be there. Okay. Enjoy yeah. it for us. Disfrútelo por nosotros. <laughs> Carlos Miguel. Carlos Miguel, are you back? No. But at the beginning, he was here. Clelia. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto, Dani, are you back? Yes, you are here. Okay. David Emanuel. Present. Filomena Luz. Present. Francisco Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Guillermo Antonio. Uh, Guillermo, your microphone. Present. Thank you. Ivania Elizabeth. Here I am. Great, Miss. Jonathan Alexander, hello. Present. Thank you. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Great. Karina Vanessa. Today was absent. Milagro. Mabelin. Present. Present. Noé Isaí. Present teacher. Hoy no es si está, ha tenido buena conexión. Serafín. Here I am. Serafín, thank you. William Francisco. William. Ok, William. Okay. Thank you. Ok, class. Now I think that you are ready with your five questions. Ok, you take no, turns asking no, and asking. No, yes, José. Yo falté ahí en la. No. Probablemente no me escucho, pero sí lo, lo mencioné. Ah, okay. ok, José Armando, José Manuel, yes. Ok, ah. double check. But you're here, ok. Now, ready? Here we go. You take turns, ok. Asking and answering the question. Fast. Orally. Oralmente. You don't have to write the answers. Speaking, speaking. That is the important part, ok. Okay, Carlos Miguel, do you have a uh, question or something like that? Eh, sí, la asistencia. Okay, sí, usted está aquí. Ver, okay, voy gracias. a verificar, permítame. Carlos Miguel. Porque sí me parece que... Ah, sí. Acaba de regresar. Okay. Ready? Here we go. You take turns. For example, Jose asks Serafin. Serafin asks Jose. Francisco asks Danny. Danny asks Francisco. Okay, here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Go to your groups. Join your groups and practice. Join your groups and practice. Noé, your group is number two. Su equipo es okay. el número dos. Okay, please join. Okay. Carlos Miguel. Um, fíjese que no me, no me manda. Porque como estoy desde el teléfono, no, no me manda. No sé por qué. No, permítame, como había salido de la clase, por eso lo, la ah, plataforma yeah. no lo agregó, pero yo lo voy a agregar en este momento, ¿ok? Uh, go to group number two, al equipo número dos. Y Noé, en el equipo dos le están esperando, Noé. Un 
Okay, Mr. Carlos Miguel Umaña, in group number two, your classmates waiting for you. Okay. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Okay. Esa no es, no es la actividad. Estábamos en la página anterior, estamos. Tienen okay. que crear las preguntas, sí. Acá. Ah, okay. Bye, aquí está, mire, create a questionnaire and ask the questions to a different classmate. Write his, her answers, share with everybody. Okay, ya tienen las cinco preguntas. No, aún no. Le dije que construyeran, que construyeran las preguntas así como yo las construí, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque necesito que tengan esas preguntas, porque de lo contrario, ¿qué es lo que van a preguntar en la página 25? ¿Sí? Baje a, la, baje a la página 25, por favor. Ok, entonces tenemos acá. Name, acá, cuando ya le haya hecho usted la pregunta, ¿verdad? What do you do? Okay. Allá es, eh, do you, por ejemplo, uh, do, you, do you make schedules? Do you plan uh, trainings? Whatever. Y acá... La pregunta es, ask five classmates about their daily routine at work. Then share the information to three different classmates. Okay, acá solo va a escribir el nombre. And then, what do you do at work? Esa sería otra pregunta. Pero la anterior es que usted tiene que construir las preguntas utilizando do. Do you y la actividad. Mm -hmm. Do you answer the phone? Do you write emails? Yes. Y la respuesta, yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay, por eso solo cinco minutos porque son respuestas cortas okay. y preguntas de la rutina, ¿ok? De acuerdo. Ok. Do you, uh, drive, do you drive a motorcycle? Do you drive what? A motorcycle. I don't understand. Do you ride ride a motorcycle? Do you ride Ma, maneja motocicleta? Do you ride a motorcycle? Ah, ah. Yes, I do or no, I yes. don't. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Do you check me? Check. But those are examples. Ah, okay. A ustedes ah, hacen para... su lista, sí, solo era para darles ejemplo. Ustedes crean sus propias preguntas, ¿sí? Yes? Okay. No, that's okay, but I tell you that you can create others. Ah, okay, no problem. We can do. But... No, I don't. Do you supervise the project? Uh, one more time in the in the month. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you go to the meeting? Yes, I do. Okay. Ya practicamos todo. Falta algo más. Hay alguna idea? Ya practicamos todo. Todos hicieron ya las preguntas. Yes. Sí. Okay. Excellent. Fabulous. Congratulations. Uh, Marlene, do you drink coffee at work? Yes. Yes, I yes, do. I Obvious. do. Yes, six, I do many times. Six cups. <laughs> six cups of coffee. Oh my God. Okay. Jonathan, do you listen to music at work? Yes, I do. Okay, relaxing. Jose, Mr. Jose Mejia, do okay. you eat in the office? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, Guillermo, I... Guillermo, do you talk to customers? Do you talk to customers, Guillermo? Guillermo, do you talk to customers? Do you talk to clients? Mm, no. ¿Habla con los clientes? No, I don't. No, perdón, I don't. perdón, yes, yes. Teacher, yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. Ana Marlene. ¿Se puede hacer call o talk? Call es eh, llamar, 
por teléfono. I call oh. clients, yo llamo a los clientes. I talk to, it can be uh, on the face phone. Face. Or face to face, yes, in person. Okay. Mm -hmm. But call is on the phone. Just for the phone, okay. Yeah, on the phone, yes, very well. Barbara, I have a question for you. Barbara, Hello? okay, uh, okay. Do you um? Let me see, Barbara. Do you do you train the staff? Do yes. you? Yes, I yes. do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Remember short answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, we do. No. We don't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay? okay. Very well. Congrats. Excellent. And now I think we move to the uh, main session room for the second part of the activities. Okay? Here we go. Okay, class, you were asking and answering the questions, okay? Using do you, direct questions in simple present, do you, and the yes, no questions, yes, I do. Answers, no, they don't. Today, do you questions. And now we're going to move to the next activity, but we're going to wait for the other partners because we're going to give a follow up of this activity. Le vamos a dar seguimiento a esta actividad. In order to give the follow up to this activity class, I'm going to ask you to look at page number 25 in your manual. Why? Because you are going to interview some partners about their daily routine, obviously at work. It is like a survey, you know, survey, encuesta, right? And you have exactly the spaces in your manual. Everybody's back? Yes. Okay, so here, look at this. At page 25, what do we have? Okay, here, ask a partner about another partner's, uh, does he or she work in, does he or she create a software, for example. And then here, ask five classmates about their daily routines at work. Then share the info to three different classmates, okay? And here we're going to ask questions to confirm what your classmates do. Does Antonio ask for assistance every morning? Okay, this is a question. And then here, one, two, three. So here we go. You're going to write, for example, one name, tell me one name. Ivania, you're the lucky girl. Ivania, Ivania Olmos, yes? And then what are you going to ask about someone else's daily routine? Okay, le van a preguntar acerca de las rutinas de alguien más. Ask five classmates about their daily routines at work, then share the info to the class, yeah? Okay, and then I say, Ivania, what's yes. your daily routine at work? And you mentioned some activities, okay? Okay. Okay, tell me your daily routine, your daily activities. I buy car parts. Um, I buy car parts. Okay, another one. Um, I organize. I organize. Organize. Um, the plans. The plans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Very well. So now let's take this as an example. We. <laughs> it should be I, not T. 
I buy car parts, I organize. And then let's imagine that Jonathan is in the same group that you are. And then I say, hey, Jonathan, does Ivania, does Ivania, does Ivania buy car parts? Okay, Jonathan. Jonathan, does Ivania buy car parts? According to the information? Yes. She... Yes, she. Okay, perdón. Yes, she does. So, sorry. Yes, um, she does, porque estamos preguntando does. por otra tercera persona. Does Ivania buy... Hey, Jonathan, does Ivania buy car parts? Yes, she does. Porque está yes, está she diciendo does. Que sí, ella lo hace, no que usted. De acuerdo. Okay, so you're going to ask your partners about their daily activities at work. And you write here their names, their daily activities, and you build here three questions, okay? One for each partner, maybe. Is that okay? Sí. Comprendimos, sí? Okay, yes. but yeah. it is five partners. <sighs> maybe you're going to interview four, okay? So I'm going to, to reorganize, to recreate the groups. Because if I, if I get three groups, uh -uh, it should be four. So you're going to be five, four, and four people in each group, okay? because I have only 17 students at the moment. You are not the, ni the 19. So here we go. Work with the partners who are in the group actively at the moment. Open your eyes big. The invitation is sent. La invitación fue enviada. Okay, go to your groups. Go to your groups and practice. Okay, Veronica, I need you in group number three. I am going to make some changes over here. Okay, um, William, you go to group number two. Al equipo dos, William. William Francisco. Okay. Las actividades que hacíamos y vamos a contestar la, la siguiente actividad, vean. Que por ejemplo, sí. pues, digamos, Serafín, este, que cuáles son sus, sus actividades diarias. Uh -huh. Hay que pasarlo al otro cuadro. Ajá. Ese, uh -huh. ese, cabal, exacto. Ajá. Eso. But you have to write, uh -huh. everybody needs to write the yes. activities that the other partners perform, okay? Entonces, a los nombres. Porque es una encuesta, it is a survey, because you have to write the name of the activities that your classmates do. For example, in this case, Ivania, almost. Ivania, uh, she says, I buy car parts and organize mm -hmm. the plans, okay? This is what she says. And here should be Serafín Constanza, and he tells you, I, mm -hmm. y ahí dos actividades que él realiza. 
¿De acuerdo? Ok, excelente. Okay. Y así es por cada uno de ustedes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. Ok, my pleasure. Bueno. Ok. Usted tiene ahí el para... Esperar montacarga. Ah, ok. Montacarga. Mira, se tercera sería inventario, inventario general, inventory. General inventory, general inventory. I is with capital letter. El pronombre I siempre va con mayúscula. A Guillermo, after class. Are you going to stay with me 10 minutes? Okay. Okay. I check logistics, uh, general inventory. I report signatures. I make general inventory. Okay. But Ivania Seria. Verónica, perdón. Oh, no sé si es I may I may I may invent inventories I may inventories I may inventories I may purchase purchase Pur Purchases, compras, purchases. Purchases mm -hmm. of material. Spell, spell, please. Um, uh, it's made purchase of it's material. It's better if you say I purchase material. I purchase material. Purchase. Okay, in the chat of the Zoom, I wrote it. I purchase material. Purchase. Purchase. Compro purchase. material. Okay, okay. Purchase. En el, en el chat de, de Zoom está. I share it with you. Purchase. Purchase. Okay. I purchase okay. material. Okay. Purchase. But you don't say I make purchase material. No, I purchase material. Okay. It's better. I purchase material. Purchase material. Purchase material. Okay. Hello. See, weekly. 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 I mean, I make, make weekly. I, I make, make the weekly what? Um, work lo que hago es ese, I, I make weekly work plan el, el, para hacer el plan semanal de trabajo. I, I, I make the I make weekly the, the weekly we, the weekly work plan. work plan. Work plan, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I make the weekly. Yo pensaba que se podía decir este uh, your, uh, planner semanal journal, perdón. Excuse me. Work, journal. Work planner. Work planner. No, you are the, the, the planner. Work uh -huh. planner. You are the planner. Usted es quien planifica. Planner uh -huh. es planificador. Uh -huh. Okay, pero no solamente mi plan de trabajo semanal, por decir algo. My I make... work plan. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Week, weekly, weekly work plan. Es decir, por ejemplo, Das Francisco, por un ejemplo. Y corrígeme si me equivoco, Das Francisco. Call customer. Very well, very well done, congrats. 
y en este caso when she, when he say that sería yes she does he does perdón yes he does Falta para que pregunte usted, William. Uh, what do you do at work? Francisco, what do you do at work? I call customer. Daniel, what do you do at work? I general requirement. Anna, what do you do at work? I clean the office. So finished, did you complete the survey? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, great, excellent. Danny, did you ask the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, everybody ask the question. Yes. Okay, so it's time to get back. Okay. And here we go. Let's close. Eh, it's time to say goodbye. Oh my God. Okay, we are going to wait for the other partners for a couple of seconds. Um, okay, they are back. Here we go. Okay, hello, Barbara. Okay, so class, in order to have a wrap up of the class, I'm going to share with you that today, we were okay working with the modal auxiliary do and does yes or no do and does for questions in simple present tense yes or no okay we were working with this and short answers also and daily routines for example if we say does Barbara, clean the office. Okay, the answer is, if I ask you class, does Barbara clean the office? The answer is affirmative or negative? Affirmative, yes. She? Yes, she does. And negative, no. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Very well. No, she doesn't because it is about another partner. Yes, it is not a direct question. But if I say, uh, Jonathan, do you? Mm -hmm, do you? Um, do you work with computers? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very well. Excellent. 
And then I'm going to ask the question for the class. Do Barbara and Anna work every day? The answer is affirmative. Yes. No. Yes. 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 What? Yes. Yes, Barbara, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Very well. And negative? No, no, they, no, they, no they, they don't. No, they don't. Because it is plural. Very well. So we use the simple present tense, okay, to ask questions and to answer affirmative and negative with short answers. And we were working with the daily routine at work, yes or no? Yes? You were interviewing yes. your partners yes. about the daily routine yes. at work. Okay, class, thank you very much for joining. Remember, attendance is mandatory. It is a prerequisite from INSAFOR. Es un prerequisito de INSAFOR, la asistencia, los felicito, porque a menos que sea algo grave de la conexión, ustedes están siempre pendientes. ¿verdad? Y recuerden que desde el momento que ingresan se comienza a contabilizar su asistencia y la asistencia la contabilizan a diario los administrativos. Ok, so Guillermo, you are going to stay with me. Ten minutes. Guillermo, where are you? Are you here, Guillermo? Oh, yes, here you are. Ok, and for the rest of the class. Ok, have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Ok. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. Don't forget the homework in the platform. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good bye. night. Sleep well and continue working, Ana Veronica. Thank you. And eating. Be careful. Okay. Thank bye you. bye. Bye Take bye. Care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Filomena. Bye bye. Okay. Here we go. Guillermo. Veamos. Let's see, how can I help you? Me parece con do y das, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Iniciamos. Ok. Ay. Tenemos acá a Guillermo de moda la auxiliar y tú. Como verbo auxiliar no tiene traducción por sí sola, ¿de acuerdo? Do, pero de forma aislada es un verbo también, un verbo común que significa ser. Entonces, en presente simple, cuando no está el verbo to be o no está ningún otro verbo, vamos a utilizar el verbo tú. Pero tenemos la otra forma, que es das. Los dos se usan para simple, present, Tense. Questions and answers. Preguntas y respuestas. De esta forma, we are going to use do for I, you, we, and they. Para estos pronombres vamos a utilizar do. Y exclusivamente das lo utilizamos con he, she, or it, ¿sí? Sí, sí. sí. En, y siempre van al inicio de la pregunta. Luego, para contestar en forma afirmativa, completa, larga la respuesta u oración, cuando es afirmativa no utilizamos ningún verbo auxiliar, pero el verbo, si lo utilizamos en tercera persona, si cambia en negativo, vamos a usar don't or doesn't, ¿verdad? Y el verbo no cambia. Ejemplo, si yo le digo, do you play tenis? Una pregunta simple. La respuesta sería yes. Si yo le pregunto a usted, Guillermo, do you play tenis? Eh, yes, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Y en negativa, no. 
No, I don't. Excellent. Very well. No, I don't. De acuerdo. And then if we say, do, um, do they study English? Estudian ellos inglés? Short answer affirmative. They, they, yes, yes I, yes, they. Yes, they. Y das. No, no, usted tiene que fijarse con el auxiliar que le preguntan y con ese mismo va a contestar. Yes, they, they do. do. Yes, y si es negativa la respuesta, no. I don't. No, I, I, porque es do they. No, they, ah, perdón. No, they don't. ¿De acuerdo? No, they don't. Fíjese que acá el, el sujeto es they. Por lo tanto, no puede decir I ni you, porque le están preguntando por ellos, no por usted. Do they study English? ¿Estudian ellos inglés? Yes, they do. No, they don't. ¿Sí? Ok. Muy bien. Entonces, a prestar atención con el auxiliar, con que nos preguntan y con ese mismo vamos a contestar. Y depende del pronombre personal. Siempre que nos preguntan con I y es pregunta directa, contestamos. Con you, perdón, con you, vamos a contestar con I, ¿de acuerdo? De ¿Sí? acuerdo. Ok, great. And then here, if I say, does, um, for example, does Ivania check um, emails? La respuesta afirmativa, ¿cuál sería? Corta. Yes. Yes. She. Yes, she. Das. Das. Porque es con el auxiliar que le he preguntado. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Y ahora, si fuera negativa la respuesta, ¿cuál sería? No. She. No, no she. Don. No, porque le estoy preguntando con das. No, she does. Pero negativo, she does not. She does not. En la forma completa, pero en la forma corta, no, she doesn't. ¿Sí? No, she doesn't. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Muy bien. Entonces. Vamos a um, volver al manual. Y acá verá usted. Mm -hmm. Here. Veamos. How to use the simple present. Fíjese bien. Acá el verbo es make, pero como es tercera persona de singular, les dije desde un inicio en esta unidad que cuando es tercera persona de singular, se le agrega generalmente una S al verbo. Y decimos, she makes many phone calls. ¿Sí? Ella hace muchas llamadas telefónicas. He carries boxes into the truck. Él lleva o carga muchas cajas en el camión. ¿Sí? El verbo es carry. Pero cuando, fíjese bien, cuando lo utilizamos con he, she, or it, vamos a eliminar esa Y y le agregamos IES. Entonces, el verbo original es carry y decimos carries en presente simple. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Cindy sends reports to other companies. Cindy envía reportes a las otras compañías. El verbo aquí es send, pero como lo estamos usando con Cindy, que es el pronombre personal, tercera persona, sí. Si sustituimos Cindy por un pronombre personal sería she entonces le agregamos la S ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo. es como que dijéramos yes she makes many phone calls acá no llevamos ningún verbo auxiliar si se fija ¿de acuerdo? sí it helps workers be on time le ayuda a los empleados a estar a tiempo help es el verbo base 
pero como it es el pronombre personal, el sujeto de la oración, le agregamos este porque es tercera persona de singular y es presente simple la estructura que utilizamos. It helps, ¿ok? My boss, singular, solamente un jefe tengo. Entonces, my boss talks about the new rules. Habla sobre las nuevas reglas. Le agregamos ese al verbo talk porque el sujeto es my boss. Pero en las oraciones negativas, ¿ok? Acá utilizamos doesn't para tercera persona y el verbo, mire, no lleva s. ¿Se fija? Sí. Entonces decimos, she doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry. El verbo carry no lleva s como en las afirmativas porque acá llevamos el modal auxiliar, doesn't. ¿De acuerdo? Es como He, sustituir, teacher. Correcto, hay una sustitución para negativo, nos auxiliamos del verbo en tercera persona, doesn't, y el verbo va en su base, pero oh. en oración afirmativa, como no llevamos el verbo auxiliar, lo que sufre cambio es el verbo, ¿sí? Y le agregamos S, o si termina en Y, eliminamos la Y y le agregamos I y S, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. ¿Sí? Si yo digo... Fíjese bien, le voy a escribir acá un ejemplo. The baby cries at night. Es afirmativa, ¿verdad? El bebé llora en la noche. Ahora negativa. The baby doesn't cry at night. Fíjese acá cómo la estructura es. El bebé llora por la noche. El verbo es cry. Pero como el sujeto de la oración es de baby, el bebé o la bebé, elimino la Y y lo sustituyo esa letra por la IES. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. sí. En el negativo no. Utilizo doesn't. Este verbo me está auxiliando para que la oración se convierta en negativa. Does not. Y el verbo, mire, va en su forma original, en la base, cry. The baby doesn't cry at night. ¿Estamos claros? Sí. Sí, muy bien. Entonces es affirmative statements and negative statements. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Pero, ¿qué pasa con do? Do you, if I say, Guillermo, do you, do you watch TV in the... In the afternoon. Ok, se la voy a escribir acá. Sí. Ok, do you, esta es directa para usted. Do you watch TV in the afternoon? Ok. ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Do you watch TV in the afternoon? Para esta pregunta, ¿cuál sería su respuesta personal? Do you watch TV in the afternoon? ¿Ves televisión en la tarde? Yes. 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 Yes, I. Yes, I do. Excellent. Very well. Entonces, su respuesta está excelente. Yes, I do. Y si me contestara de forma negativa, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? No. 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 I don't. No, excelente. I don't. No, I don't. Muy bien. No me tiene que contestar con das porque usted no es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Sino que me está contestando con I, yes, I do, no, I don't. Y si contestamos esta pregunta de forma completa, full, yes, I do. Entonces sería, I watch TV in the afternoon, yes? Yes. Esa sería la forma completa. Pero la forma negativa, ¿cuál sería? I don't. 
I don't watch TV in the afternoon. Okay, I don't watch TV in the afternoon. Esta es la forma completa, mire, y esta es la forma corta. Forma corta y forma completa. Forma larga, full form and short form. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces acá es de tener en cuenta do and does. You only focus on does for he, she, it. Es más fácil así. Recordar que does lo vamos a utilizar para he, she, it. Él, ella o el neutro it, ¿verdad? Sí, que no y el negativo sería doesn't. Porque para todos los demás utilizamos don't. Entonces es más fácil aprenderse uh, don't for he, she, it. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Ok, muy bien. Trate de trabajar en la plataforma y si tiene algún problema, mañana me pregunta o me escribe por mensaje. Yo le ayudo con mucho gusto. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, thank you for being here. Ok. Gracias. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. See bye. you.